In this video, we're going to explore the legend align configuration in Chart.js. So the legend align is basically controlling the position, or not only really position, the alignment of the legend right now. So as you can see here, the legend here is in the center, but there are multiple objects, you can put it to the left or to the right. So let's explore how you can do this. But before I start, if you're interested in learning Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. You can find the link in the description box. All right, let's start and explore here what we can do here. So we have here right now our line chart, which looks very nice. And then we want to position these things, or not sorry, not position, but align them in the right location. Perhaps you want them to the left or to the right. So how do we do this? So if we look up here in our legend configurations, you can find here the option that legend as a namespace. So this is where Chart.js indicates where you have to control or adjust the options for the legend. And if we look at our JavaScript here in the HTML file, you can find here our chart. And then you can see here the configuration options go here, go here which is here the options. So let's start and explore this. So, but before we explore that, let's understand what's saying, what is this indicating here? You see here the name, which means align. All right, so that's a command, align. The type, what is the type? It's a string, meaning that when you put in a value, they should, be have, they should have quotations. Remember JavaScript works with strings or booleans or etc. many different things. In this case, this is a string command, meaning that, the, and here you can see the default settings is on center. That is correct. If you look here right now, you can see the position has been set to the center. So we can put it to the left or to the right. To do that, you can see here alignment of the legends. Press on this button to see more. So once we click on that, you can see here the alignment. And I like the terms they use here. This is very well thought out. They have the start, center, and end. So why is this? Well, if you are RTL, meaning from right to left, uh, depending on your language, depending on which language you use. For example, the Arabic language, they, they write exactly the opposite way from right side to left. So alignment to right or alignment to left would not be very common or not very useful because it might be confusing. It might be very confusing. So if you say to the end or to the beginning or to the start, it makes more sense depend no matter which position you are. Basically, if you are the start, it's here and there. All right. And most likely, if it's RTL, it will revert itself. So the start would be here and end will be there. So that is very well thought out. Bootstrap also implemented this before they had like the start beginning of a start left or center, is it? Uh, text right, text left, and text center. But they changed that to text start and text end. Now, all right, enough about that. Let's start and explore here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first put in the legend command or the namespace for legend. And then in here, we're going to indicate the command and we're talking about the command alignment or align itself. So you can see here, uh, if we go up back here, you can see align. So let me put in this here. By default, it is set on center. So we're going to put it here, center. And we put it in single quotations. Why single quotations? Because it's a string, remember that. Save this refresh here and now as you can see nothing happens it's still in the same position here all right so what happened if we change this to for example start we do that you can see now the legend is starting at the very beginning of the row or sentence and if you want to repos reposition it to the end or align it to the end you can see now it will align it at the very end of the row so this is basically how you use alignment and you can use alignment together with another one, which is position. You can combine them together. And with that, you can do some nice things. For example, here, let's put in your position and let's research here. The position by default is top. That is correct because we're right now here on the very top. So I'll just say here top for now. And remember, because we have another line here, we have to put in here comma. So we save this and refresh. All right, so this is it. So now we say here, what, what happens if we say bottom? You can see now it starts to position it to the bottom end. And if we put this now to the left, now you can see here now it position it to the left, but then at the bottom. And the reason why it's the bottom left 
is basically because we are positioned or aligned at the end. It's the end, and as you can see, as I indicated, that if it would be RTL, it would be exactly the opposite. Well, it understands here if we are at the top or bottom. So end is at the bottom, and start would be at the very top. So let's push that here back to, let's make this start, the alignment, and once you see it, you will see it moves up immediately. There you are. So this is the way how you can control this, and if you want to put this back to the center, put it in here, and that's basically what you can do. We can move this to the right as well. And there we are. So with this, you can play around, reposition the legend, your existing legend in the canvas, so meaning this is really still in the canvas. All right, so ignore this. I'll just open up this, all right, so it's more better. You can see still, if I open up my developer tab and I click on this, what happens is you can see here, I open up this a little bit more, all right, slightly more, without damaging or making the chart hard to read. And then if we look at the canvas ID, you can see here, this is still in the canvas itself. So it's a drawing within the canvas here. All right. So if you like these kind of videos, check out my Udemy course where I go deeper in Chart.js itself, where you can explore all the options in Chart.js. And if you enjoyed this as well, just subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below.